Hey yo, I'm Ori, and welcome back to another video. I made a little game about protecting your heart from negative emotions, and I was able to finish it all in about a week or so. So in this video, I want to break down the process that led me to fully making art, music, and code. So I was working on some of my other projects when I realized I had this major issue I've labeled as perfectionist mentality. Basically, I'll start with an idea and fall deeply in love with it. But then I fall in love with it so much to the point that I add all these features for the sake of polish. This leads to me never finishing games or making games but never really getting around to posting them because I always feel like they need some form of polish. So how would I go about countering this issue? With the threat of overwhelming violence, of course. I told my best friend that if I didn't finish this game in a set amount of time, that he was able to punch me in the chest full force. Now, my friend isn't some giga chad or anything like that, but he could pack a punch. And the threat of this pain actually really encouraged me to finish something. I also had my girlfriend watch over my ideas in case things got too out of hand. So with those contingencies in place, it was time for me to come up with a solid concept. I never actually thought about it, but the idea of trying to keep a game small is actually really hard. Sometimes an idea can seem small on paper, but when going to execute it, the layers begin to kind of reveal themselves. So I started with my basic list, and I thought the idea of some kind of Dance Dance Revolution style defense game could be fun and 100% original. But seriously, this idea seemed like the easiest thing to pull off and execute in a somewhat fun way, so I began to think about how the game would kind of play out. I think a common misconception is that the development process is actually the hardest part in game dev, and that can be the case depending on the game, but I find coming up with a strong idea can be extremely challenging, and that process alone can take me a while. Luckily, my girlfriend was extremely supportive and helped me come up with a concept for the game while I got to work on my own stuff, so it made my life a million times less stressful. Basically, the idea is represented through this heart, and you're granted a shield that defends you from negative emotions. If you place your shield in the right direction, you successfully block the emotion. You simply have to survive until a timer runs out, and you win. I thought this could be a simple yet fun game to play, so I really tried hard not to add anything else and just got straight to work. I've always loved games with the chunky, kind of pixely art style, so I wanted to try and have my game fit into that category. My original design for the heart was going to be borderless, but I thought that would make everything bleed into the background too much. I also wanted to make sure that I didn't overscope the art, so I tried to limit myself with the color palette of around 8 colors, which really helped me keep everything simple. Since there was going to be bullets flying at you quickly, I thought it'd be smart to keep the HUD elements simple as to not distract the player. I understand that not everyone is good at bullet hell games, so I thought it'd be smart to reward the player with bonus health if their combo reached a high number. My girlfriend really seemed to love this idea, seeing as she usually struggles with my games, and I think overall it made the game far more approachable. While developing the game, I was thinking since the playtime is pretty quick that the game should be able to be beaten in one shot, but also not be so long that the player becomes annoyed at restarting. I think something a lot of game dev channels overlook is how much time goes into making the art and HUD elements of a game. You usually see the technical side a lot more, but tweaking, making the fonts, art, and shaders all take a significant amount of time in game dev, at least for me personally. There are times where the coding process is actually the lighter side of making the game, and I'm not even a programmer first, so I couldn't imagine trying to do all of this with limited art skills. In all honesty, there isn't much to show for this section. I did record some parts of my programming process, but a lot of it is redundant and to be quite frank with you, my code can be really messy. Not like Yandere dev messy, but like messy enough to make me feel a little weird about it. So sometimes I feel pretty insecure showing it off. I will however go over the basic stuff that just explains how everything works and just give you a general idea of how everything works under the hood. The heart object is a simple idle object that never moves from the center of the screen. The shield is the only thing that you can control, and by pressing the arrow keys, it simply changes the direction the shield faces. I also wanted the heart to look a bit more flavorful, so I programmed the sine wave that just makes the heart move up and down in this little nice bopping motion. Next was programming the emotions to move towards the players. I actually made a game that had a similar system to this, so getting the bullets to spawn wasn't very difficult, and the core mechanics of the game were pretty much done. Really, a majority of the code was just cleaning up everything, timing things to the music, and, you know, making sure everything looked nice. And I'll get to the music right now. 
So originally, I wanted the music to have a waltz-like melody that grew in intensity, and this idea ended up being scrapped because it kind of made the game feel a little too slow. So instead, I went for this kind of arpeggiating piano thing and kind of made the game feel a lot more lively. All right, this is the part where I'm gonna be completely transparent with everyone on this channel. I did have bigger ideas for this game, and it was gonna feature a secondary level and a hard mode, but I quickly realized that this was feature creep and that perfectionist mentality of me trying to polish a game that really didn't need it started to happen. I think something that a lot of first time developers struggle with is just letting a game go. And this is something that I relate to heavily. I treat every project like it's precious, but ultimately that just prevents me from making anything. I will say, while this game isn't flashy or really anything super unique, it's still something I made and actually finished. I have so many projects that are just sitting on my computer and it's because I was genuinely scared to post these to the world. I felt as if it needed to be perfect to go on itch or new grounds and people would hate me for releasing something of bad quality. Obviously this all sounds extremely dramatic, but the fear genuinely prevented me from sharing projects with anyone. So I wanted to thank everyone on this channel for sticking by me and being here for, I guess my official second release since I made that game on scratch, which you should check out in the description. It's really buggy, but you should still check it. Opening up to this community has been very helpful to my progress as a developer. And I can genuinely say that this has been one of the nicest communities I've ever been a part of. Just being able to see something I made beyond itch is a very nice feeling. And I'm extremely excited to see what this means for the future of my development. Could this game be more polished? Well, absolutely. But I think letting it just exist as is will bring me peace, knowing that any future games I make will only be better. And thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to Vanessa and Hannibal for supporting me and the channel. Your continued support helps me create more content for the masses to enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps a ton. And if you want to join the community, there'll be a link in the description below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.